Welcome to MK Tech. In this tutorial, I'll be explaining to you how you can easily make a 12 to 230 volts inverter or even 110 volts inverter based on the 5 inch timer and power transistors. The configuration is as shown here. The input you have preferably 12 volts from a leader same battery. Then, to make the 5 inch timer generate square wave passes, you need to connect. These three, these three resistors are shown in the timing capacitor, which is 0.1 microfarads. R1 and R2 are fixed as shown here, 10 kilo ohms and 100 kilo ohms respectively. The variable resistor allows you to adjust the frequency from anywhere from 50 hertz to 60 hertz. So the capacitor will be changing from the positive rail and is changing through pin 7. So when it's changing, the output at pin 3 will be high, and when it's discharging, the output will be low. The connections are shown here, pin 4 and 8 go to the VCC, pin 7, distant pin goes to the connection point as shown here, the trigger and threshold are connected together and to the timing capacitor, the ground pin goes to ground and the control pin is connected to ground via this time and appearance capacitor, this ensures that the output is stable. At the output, you have two transistors, one is NPN, TIP41, it can handle up to 5 ampere accessory and the other one is TIP42 which can also handle 5 ampere accessory. You can parallel 2 or even 5 of these together to give you an output power of up to 600 watts since they can handle more than 30 amperes. So when the output pin 3 goes high, the NPN transistor will conduct and this will allow current to flow through the Q1 NPN transistor through the series capacitor and through the primary winding to ground. That is the first half cycle. When the output pin ring goes low, Q1 turns off and Q2, the PNP transistor conducts because they are complementary of each other. And this basically will reset the primary winding because it will connect the positive terminal of the capacitor to ground and allow current to flow the other way around. So this makes a kind of half branch inverter circuit. And so if you have several transistors connected in parallel to, keep, to enable you to handle more than that amperes, it can give you easily 500 watts output. And I recommend you put them on heat sinks to display the extra amount of heat. You can also increase the capacitance of this capacitor up to 10,000 microfarads to handle the extra current. For the transformer, if you need 110 volts, I recommend you use one with a ratio of 1 is to 10. Well, if you want 230 volts, you should use one with a ratio of 1 is to 20. This will allow you to have an input of 12 volts to 10 volts and 12 volts to 230 volts respectively. And ensure that the transformer has a core line enough to handle the power you require. You can easily obtain a node transformer from a microwave and make your own windings. So here you have your AC output which you can use to power AC devices such as a laptop, a TV to change your smartphone in case of a power outage, etc. And so the transformer is used in the reverse. So that's all about this inverter circuit. Please comment below, like this video, share and subscribe to my channel for more amazing projects. And I'll see you in the next episode.